So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Frank Guest, and this is the Frank Guest YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm at the Bose Professional uh, Time to Listen DC event in DC. Uh, and and uh, the product that I actually want you to tell me a little bit about is the product that you debuted at, you debuted at uh, Infocom? Correct. Right? Yep. And this is your, this is your new uh, PowerShare? PowerShare X series Power of Share X. Yes. Yeah. So tell me who you are and what you do for Bose Professional really yeah, fast, and then absolutely. talk to me about the amp. Sure, so my name is Chuck Sokol. I'm a sales engineer that works with Bose, uh, Bose Professional. I mainly cover uh, Canada, but I also cover several national accounts throughout the United States. Um, the PowerShare X amplifiers are a partnership between PowerSoft and uh, Bose Professional. Uh, these amplifiers are new top of the line amplifiers that can be used for any of the products, any of our passive loudspeakers that require amplification for running. What makes the PowerShare X amplifiers special is that the amount of power that's available at the amplifier can be dynamically allocated uh, across uh, whichever channels are being used. So in the past, what's uh, uh, been the case when specifying an amplifier or choosing which amplifier to use uh, with a particular system is you have to size the amplifier so that there's enough wattage on whatever channel is going to be the hungriest channel. So if you've got a 1,000 watt speaker on channel 1 and then a 10 watt speaker on channel 2 and a 50 watt speaker on channel 3, you're sizing your amplifier so it's got 1,000 watts on each channel because you need that full 1,000 watts on channel 1. So you're wasting a bunch of watts, which is, of course, you're wasting money, right? You're paying for watts you're not using. So with the PowerShare X amplifiers, you're actually buying the amplifier based on the total power that you need for the whole system, with the whole draw of that amplifier as a whole. So if you need 1,000 watts on channel 1, it'll use 1,000 watts on channel 1, but if you only need 10 watts on channel 2, it's only going to be using 10 watts on channel 2. So we've got uh, three versions. There's a 1,200 watt, a 2,400 watt, and a 4,800 watt version of the amplifier. It's the total amount of power available at the amplifier. So in that example that I gave, uh, you could use a 1,200 watt amplifier, that's 1,200 watts for the whole thing, still be able to allocate that 1,000 watts for channel one with 200 watts left over for the other channels. So it's great in those situations where you don't want to be over uh, purchasing wattage for the system. Gotcha. So how many of these amps do you need to power, for instance, what you have right here behind you? Yeah, so right here behind me, I'm going to step a little bit off screen here, but you can see uh, we've got a four module uh, show match array. This is our sort of top of the line concert venue uh, array. Uh, typically you'd be using the most powerful amplifiers that you could you could have, that you could have access to, to, to power the system. In our case, these three amplifiers that are in this rack are powering all four of these modules, these two subwoofers, and the same thing, another array on the other side of the stage. So there's a whole other array, four mains, two subs over there. Uh, those are all being powered by just these three amplifiers. Gotcha. And what and what design software? What, what what do you use to configure your speakers within within these amps? Yeah. So these amplifiers are configured through the same software as the rest of our uh, digitally configurable products. So that's Control Space Designer software. It's very easy to use. All of the parameters that are necessary to get the best sound out of our loudspeakers are drag and drop presets that can be loaded in. Of course, those are uh, publicly available, so you can see whatever those parameter settings are, make adjustments as necessary, tweak things for your particular venue if needed. Because the amplifiers uh, have that power sharing capability where you know, you're looking at the whole system, the whole amplifier, what's necessary uh, at the amplifier level, we also have a separate tool available on our website where you can see how much power do I need for an amplifier to power the particular loudspeakers that I'm using to help people make uh, a good decision about which amplifier to pick for any particular application. Gotcha. So I see a network switch. So yep. Dante, right? Exactly. They've all got Dante built in. Yep. Dante, control, everything done through the network. There are analog inputs as well if you're doing a traditional system that's using analog audio distribution. But they do have Dante built into the amps. Uh, inherently, yes. Oh, that, that, that's that's fantastic. Uh, so th this is actually my first view of, of, mm -hmm. the, of these uh, particular amps. You know, I've seen them on your website, and this is actually the one reason why I kind of wanted to go. I wanted to hear the show, sure. uh, obviously, uh, but I wanted to learn a little bit uh, about these amps because me, my other job, you know, we have lots of conference rooms, uh, mm -hmm. and every single one of those conference rooms has an amplifier, and they're pushing our, not not these arrays, uh, yeah. but more like your. Uh, your DM series yeah, uh, sure. over there. Yeah, it's uh, standard tr uh, traditional like distributed. Right. It's not a lot of speakers, sure, yeah. Right. Oh. Which that actually brings up another good point too. So of course we're running low impedance for a system like this, but these amplifiers can operate at either low impedance or high impedance, either 70 or 100 volts, uh, independent by channel. So if you have a situation like where you're describing, you got some conference rooms, maybe you also have some other spaces that are running low impedance speakers, you can be powering multiple circuits of loudspeakers, uh, regardless of what kind of draw you need, whether that be 
70 volt or, or 8 ohm or, or whatever you need. Yeah, no, I like it. We, we, we've got several size conference rooms uh, as well as, you know, we have open areas, you know, lounge areas where we have background music playing. Mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, um, something like this would, uh, you know, would certainly be worth us uh, looking into. And of course, for any of my viewers on uh, YouTube, if you've got any questions at all, make sure you put them down uh, in the comment section below, and then I'll reach out to Chuck uh, here, and he will uh, he'll make sure and make sure that I give you the uh, the right answer. So uh, I, I appreciate it. I, yeah. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank much. you. Thanks. Hey, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe.